क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी नाइन्थ आयरन एक्सिबिट्स प्लस टू एंड प्लस थ्री स्टेट्स एंड वी हैव टू से व्हाट स्टेटमेंट माइट बी इनकरेक्ट एक्चुअली द फेरस आयन एंड फेरिक आयंस दे हैव डिफरेंट आयोनिक पोटेंशियल्स दैट इज दे हैव डिफरेंट पावर इन टर्म्स ऑफ पोलराइजिंग द एन आयंस एंड ऑफ कोर्स मॉलिक्यूल्स लाइक एच टू the first option says that uh, ferrous compounds are more easily hydrolyzed now see it means that this compound has a more interaction with water as compared to this one which seems to be incorrect for the reason that ferric ion is more attracted towards water molecule so it is its polarizing power for water molecule is high and of course the consequences for that the second one says the ferrous oxide is more basic in nature now if you see ferrous oxide it is feo and this fe 2o3 then we know that with the increase in the oxidation state that is ferrous and ferric and this oxide seems to have uh, the more basic power and uh, the option says also that uh, ferric ferrous oxide is more basic in nature or uh, this seems to be the correct one because ferrous oxide and ferric oxide if you compare them then this is more towards acidic they both are basic in nature but then uh, its basic character is more as compared to this so this is correct option this is more basic and this is less basic the next one says uh, ferrous compounds are relatively more ionic now the property to show the ionic character also depends on their polarizing power now ferric ion has higher polarizing power so whatever an ion shall come in contact with ferric ion will be more polarized whatever an ion is taken over here is more polarized by ferric ion and so the resulting compound will be more of covalent nature whereas the ferrous has lesser polarizing power for a given anion say the anion is same then it will be more towards the ionic character so it's obviously the third option is correct that uh, ferrous compounds are relatively more ionic this is a correct statement but since we are asked the incorrect statement this is not the matched option the fourth one says ferrous compounds are less volatile than the corresponding ferric compounds now if you talk about ferrous compound then we discussed earlier that ferrous compound are more ionic in nature as compared to ferric being more ionic in nature they are less volatile because of high melting and boiling point therefore the fourth is also the correct option but of course the unmatched because we are asked about the incorrect option so the overall correct option becomes the first of course because it is not right on to the next one is the question number yes the question number 87 the question is the molecule having the smallest bond angle we are given the four molecules pcl3 we are having ncl3 we are having ascl3 and the last one is sbcl3 these all elements belong to the same group it is 15th group of the periodic table so coming top to bottom we know that the electronegativity of the central atom will decrease so what is likely to happen is uh, sb cl3 cl this cl and cl now the sb is least electronegative so we might expect that the electron cloud will be more over more dispersed towards the cl which will obviously result in result into the decreasing of this bond angle because uh, the orbitals now have lesser repulsion so they can come closer we say that top to bottom the bond angle will decrease because of the fact that the central atom has low electronegativity so we can frame a law out of this that en the bond angle is proportional to the en of central atom alternative uh, alternatively we can say that uh, this atom is largest in size now the atom that is largest in size and uh, of course the surrounding atoms are same in number the lone pairs and bond pairs same then it will have the minimum requirement for the hybridization so when it does not require the hybridization the s and p orbitals will be more pure 
and when the p orbitals are more pure then the angle between the pure p orbitals px py and pz is 90 that is minimum compared to their hybridized orbitals angle in so um, we can say that uh, with the increase in size of central atom the bond angle will reduce so so i think the correct option for uh, this part particular one is uh, answer number 4 this is the fourth answer that is correct because we are asked about the smallest bond angle the smallest bond angle will be in sbcl3 which can be explained by both of these